hello welcome to this video in this video i will show how to add multiple columns data to the list box here i have some data which consists of five columns date item price quantity and company i have 91 rows of data now i am going to add this data to the list box click on command button here we can find data added to the list box first one is the header here we can select the data as per our requirement now click on extra data command button here data copied into output worksheet whatever the rows i selected in list box copied into output worksheet now let us see the program open vbe first i created user form After that, I dragged list box. This is the list box. Double click on user form. Here is initialize event of user form. Here we can find multiple events. From the available options, I am using initialize. Already created a variable as sh to define the worksheet this public variable next consider sheet 2 for this variable after that I define last row here I am using indexl the property of range object place a breakpoint here click on add to list box now let us start the debugging Press F8. Here last row is 91. Means I have 91 rows of data. Me denotes about the user form. We can use user form 1 or me. Here I mentioned me. From the user form. Now I am selecting list box 1. First I am clearing the existing data. Here I use a clear method. After that, I am mentioning the font size. Next, I am using font name property. Here, I mentioned a column count. I have data for 5 columns. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Hence, I mentioned columns count as 5. Next, I confirmed whether the data consists of headers or not. Here is your column heads property. If the data consists of headers, mention true. Next, I am using row source property of list box. This is the sheet name. After that, I mentioned the range. Last row is 91. Next, I am selecting list style here we can find two options fm list style option fm list style plane here i selected fm list style option Now I used multi select property of list box. We can find three options here. FM multi select extended, FM multi select multi, FM multi select single. Here I selected FM multi select multi. Now I mentioned text align property.
here also we can find three options center left right i selected center this is the output Now let us discuss about the properties of list style and multi select. Remove the breakpoint. Here I am mentioning plain. Now let us check the output. We didn't find any options to select the data in form of check boxes. Next I am changing the multi select option. First I am selecting the single FM multi select single. Let us check the output. Result is displayed on list box by placing option buttons. Means application allows to select only single row. So we are unable to select multiple rows at a time. Now I am placing FM multi select extended. Here data displayed by considering check boxes. But I am unable to select multiple rows. Application allowing to select only single row. Now I placed FM multi select multi. Let us check the output. Here we can find result displayed by adding check boxes and application allowing for multiple row selection. Now let us see how to extract the data from list box based on selection. Place a breakpoint here. First I added the data. Next to select the data. After that click on button. First I defined the worksheet. After that activated the worksheet which is named as output. Next I cleared the existing data in that worksheet. To clear that data I use the user range property of sheet object. Next I copied the headers. from sheet 2 to output worksheet. Here I mentioned R is equal to 2 as I have data from second row. Now I copied the headers. Here I considered R is equal to 2 which denotes about the row number of output worksheet as I want to copy the result from second row. Here I am using for loop. Row number and column number starts in list box from 0. So I mentioned min value of the for loop as 0. After that max value I considered as list count of list box. List count denotes about the number of rows available in list box. If the loop hits the selected row, 
here I am using selected property of list box I did not say about the row number then copy the data from list box to output worksheet R denotes about the two and one denotes about the first column I denotes about the row number and zero denotes about the column number after completion of each and every iteration row number increases by one place a breakpoint press F5 F8 unload the user form now data copied from list box to output worksheet in this way we can add multiple columns to the list box subsequently extract the required data from list box to excel worksheet Hope this video is useful to everyone. Thanks for watching.